It's old school April time. <laughs> Welcome to welcome back to my channel. My name is Christine. I like to read dark and disturbing things and this video is going to be an old school April vlog. I decided to break April up into three parts so every 10 days I will have like a new vlog going on so I can let you know what I'm reading, what I'm watching, the activities that I'm doing and just having an old school April kind of time. I like to keep these a little bit shorter and sweeter than some of my previous vlogs that kind of add up really quickly. So let's just get into it and show you the clips. Hey guys, it is Monday, April 1st. It is the first day of old school April. Um, I'm pretty excited, but I am still, uh, still getting over my illness. So I uh, just wanted to check in really quick before I lost any energy that I had and say hi. And uh, it's almost time for Kelsey to start the first sprints of the month. There's going to be tons of sprints. Um, there are going to be tons of sprints all month and I'm excited for it. I think the book I am going to start with and this it's kind of weird that it felt like a big deal to pick my first book. I did start reading um, Head Like a Hole which is funny since it wasn't even in my TBR but it was on my Kindle and I had remembered it in the middle of the night when I couldn't sleep. So um, I did start that, but I think the first book I'm really gonna be reading is The Hellbound Heart by Clive Barker. I kind of dropped the ball last month when I wanted to read The Damnation Game and I never got to it. So this will be my first uh, full, fully read Clive Barker. I did read Books of Blood one, I guess, um, but it's part of a bind up. So I haven't finished the whole bind up. So yeah. I'm not sure how this vlog is gonna go. I'm feeling a little bit better today. I did actually go outside for a walk, like a small walk, just to kind of get out there because I have been cooped up in my house a lot between um, them doing construction on my house and then getting sick and not being able to go out. It's, I've just felt very, um, just going a little crazy, going a little nuts. Um, and now my son is sick, so, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see. <laughs> I'm hoping to do a better job on this vlog than last time and check in a little bit more often. Um, but yeah, I'm going to cut this off because Kelsey's about to start the sprints and I don't want to miss the corn queen. <laughs> So I did order some stickers from Pip Sticks, and this was my first time ordering from them, but they had some really cute stuff that I thought would be good for old school April. And before I do my, oh, I can't do this with one hand. Okay. Before I do my, um, what do you call it? My journal, I thought I would show you the stickers I got. Um, I have thrown, stay open. I have thrown some other ones in here that I already owned um, last year. I got all these scratch and sniff stickers. Okay, but these are the ones that I ordered from Pip Sticks because they had these Care Bear ones that I really wanted. And I like to use um, little kind of stickers when I like list my books and s that I read. So like I'll put a little bear for each one and why aren't you focusing? I thought these were super cute. Um, a few that don't really fit the theme, but I had to have were like these Bots Maru uh, stickers and Pom Pom Prin Halloween. And I think this is the last one that's not really related to old school April, but again, scratch and sniff stickers. And I really love um, like peppermint Christmassy stuff. So I'll keep those for later. These are scratch and sniff stickers with Grumpy Bear. And I really wanted a lot of the Care Bear ones they had, but I had to be a little choosy. These I thought would be perfect. We have Operation, a Slinky, oh, a Pogo Ball. 
pogo ball f for a minute was like super popular at my school and I eventually got one but I wasn't allowed to bring it to school and now that I'm a parent I understand why um oh like the spirograph a furby etch a sketch uh the jelly bracelets a tamagotchi so these are super fun ones and then they had these alphabetical ones, which I got because I suck at, like, I, I just suck at writing or making, like, a header that looks pretty. So I thought I could use this for, like, my wrap-up and stuff like that. This was something called Sticker Burst, and I didn't really know what it was, and I don't know that I still do. But it had two sheets, like, of all these stickers. So I thought it was, like good bang for your buck and this is the other one. Oh, I don't know they come on these things like kind of heavy duty cardboard I think you're supposed to use this to decorate and make your own like um design I don't know I just got them because there was a lot of stickers and I thought I could use a lot of them but uh yeah, I don't really fully know what that is. I might have to look up what I'm, what you're technically supposed to do. But here is the other sticker burst. Of course, it's got my boy Grumpy. I think I just like all of the blue characters. So I like Grumpy. I like the sleepy one. I like um, Wish Bear. And I also like the Birthday Bear he's my I don't see him here though he's probably not very popular but he was my um like what do you call it birthstone so then oh, I did splurge and get this thing but before I show you that I will show you the washi tape if it will focus there can you see him I thought this would also be cute because you could just tear individual bears off of there and use them. And then they had this thing, which I know probably, can I hold the camera still? I know probably was not worth the money, but I couldn't help myself. It's almost like a trapper keeper for your Care Bear stickers, or your Pip Stick stickers. It is cardboard. It does have a magnetic thing here. And then you open it. And it has these pages that are made of a material that I'm pretty sure are designed to stick stickers on and take them off. So, like, sometimes, you know, you have these sheets of stickers and maybe you only have a few left. You could put them on here until you're ready to use them. And so they had Grumpy, I don't know your name, Lucky, I really don't know your name. After all of those, they had these things in different sizes that will fit your stickers from Pipstick, like kind of like baseball cards or something. So they have them different size, size two, like some of their things are like long and skinny. And then it has a couple pages of like this old kind of photograph paper that we used to use for, I will say it's not easy to do one handed. Um, so old photo album paper where you can put stuff in there. And then lastly, it has this envelope where you can put your stickers inside and it has a zip top. So I think this is what I will be using to store all my old school April type. Uh, stickers and I mean can you really have enough sticker organization no you can't I have like a whole okay yeah my office is a mess but I have this whole cart kind of of sticker ish stuff or crafty type stuff and you know like there's an album for Halloween stickers there's an album for whatever but this is what I'm working with. I just wanted to show this before I opened everything up and started making my uh, journal spread. And I've 
already placed another order with Pipstick, so I could see this is going to be expensive. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that before I, I got into it. All right, I will check back in later. today is Sunday and I have been horrible about checking in on here but I promise I have been doing lots of old school April stuff. Today is the seventh day of old school April and yesterday I was able to jump on sprints with Kelsey and Andrew and Katrina and I had a lot of fun. Um, I have been finding, I, even though I am feeling a little better, um, I'm still, I feel like I've got a, this cold that just won't go away and I'll start the day with lots of energy and then kind of around four o'clock, five o'clock, I just have no energy left. It's so, I meant to check in yesterday, like in between sprints and I just didn't, but I've been getting stuff done. So I am excited because later today I am going to a musical to see the Beetlejuice musical and I was not sure I was going to be able to go, but I did test myself. Again, I think I'm on like day 13 or 14 of being sick, somewhere around there. And I am now not testing positive for COVID. I'm still going to wear a mask. I'm so paranoid about getting people sick and I don't want to be that person. Um, so I'm hoping because it's not until 630 at night. And I know we're so late, but <laughs> because I've been dead to the world and it is in Seattle, which is about an hour and a half drive. Um, from here, like it's going to be a long night for me. So I am excited for that. I'm going to in a little bit leave and go get some medicine and just try to like make myself a little better before I go. But I have watched some movies. I watched Frank and Hooker as like, what do you call it? Like the discord stream with everybody else. Uh, that was a fun time. And then I watched on my own 
I watched a movie called She's Out of Control. Um, I just remember this movie when I was younger with Tony Danza and about a girl who like gets her braces off and all of a sudden all these guys are after her. It didn't fully hold up but so I don't know if you've never seen it it probably wouldn't be great but for me having seen it before there were lots of side ponytails and cool hair and at one point she goes bitchin so that was worth it for me then I watched The Great Mouse Detective which was Coral's pick for one of her movie picks and I thought I had never seen it before but once I started watching it um, especially when they got to the song Radican, I was like, I have seen this. So that was fun. And then yesterday I was able to, um, catch the live stream of cartoons. We watched some DuckTales, we watched Rugrats, Scooby-Doo, uh, Dexter's Lab, and one that I've never seen called Captain Planet. So that was fun. And then last night after we were done streaming, I watched Troop Beverly Hills, which was another movie I remember, um, very fondly with Shelley Long. And it has quite a few familiar faces in it, like Tori Spellings in it, and a few other actresses that ended up being in other things. Um, one of the girls from Punky Brewster. And aside from having some stereotypes in there, like there's quite a few stereotypes in there that wouldn't hopefully be today, but it was still a really fun movie. I like that it focused on the girls and... Um, yeah, it was a fun time. So for reading, I have finished The Hellbound Heart by Clive Barker. I did see the um, Hellraiser movie for the first time last year. It might have even been during old school April. I can't remember. And I was hoping that this would give me a little bit more insight into the whole Cenobites thing. Um, having not fully understood that after watching the movie but this is pretty much a straight adaptation um i think the only exception someone i'm sure will tell me if i'm wrong is that there's another girl in here named christy and i thought in the movie she was like the stepdaughter or the daughter of the the dad the daughter of the dad the daughter of the husband in this little family at least that's who I thought she was. Maybe I'm remembering incorrectly in here. I'm not even sure who she is other than this other woman that wants to get with him and thinks his wife is undeserving. So I'm a little confused by that, but it didn't really, didn't fully matter. But um, yeah, I will have to go through the points and see. I had given it um, nine points before I read it. I'll have to go through and see if I missed any. And then I have been reading Head Like a Hole on my Kindle. This one is very much set in a time period that I remember because it's like my high school years um, in the 90s and um, I'm about halfway through with that and I'm really enjoying that. And then I'm almost done with Nelfs. Hopefully I can finish this today before I go. I think I have like 50 pages left or so. Love this cover. This is... um not really turning out the way that I thought it would. I guess in my mind, I thought that there would be these Nelves running around a lot, almost like gremlins, like causing lots of chaos. And they do for a while, but and maybe they will some more. But for a long time, they've kind of been out of the picture. And I'm like, I want more, I want more Nelves. Um, but other than that, it, I, th I think this is going to be a three-star read for me. Um, unless the ending completely blows me away. And I have started listening to The Exorcist um, on audio. And I'm still near the beginning, but um, maybe I don't remember this from the movie. It's been a very long time since I've seen the movie. But I didn't remember them diagnosing Reagan with ADD. Like, basically, like, yeah, that's what's wrong with her. I'm finding that a little crazy. Anyway, I did get some mail um from the old school april swag shop which will be linked down below i had already gotten my shirt and i had gotten a sticker but then afterwards this hollow sticker came out so i ordered that Ooh, well it's showing up really hollowy because <laughs> i'm facing the window so that's cool and then let me open this up because i got the mug I tried to hold back because 
like mugs are one of the things that every time I have one, my husband's like, all right, which one are you going to get rid of um, to make room for this new one? And I think it looks so good in this green color, um, even though my team, <laughs> my team color is purple parrots. But to me, the, this green like reminds me of the slime. So I really love it. Look how cute. Just drinking from my old school April mug. So I thought that was very cool. So even if I keep it on my shelves and don't ever drink from it, I love it. One more thing, I feel like this is long, but it's because I haven't been checking in, is I had bought this color yarn because I found a pattern for like this really old school pattern for Care Bears. And it like gives you the pattern for every single Care Bear you can make like crochet wise. And I picked Wish Bear just because I think everything I have Care Bear isn't Grumpy Bear. But um, this is where I'm at so far. I'm not sure it was telling me to like um, mark places I think where like his muzzle's gonna go, which I thought was there. And then it had me mark these and I don't really understand because in any pattern that I've ever done before, it pretty much just has you count like the rows and put it in. I guess this is probably supposed to be like an easier way to know where to put it so you don't have to count later. Um, so ignore all those. But it's like a puppet right now. Hello, pumpkin here. Okay, sorry. Um, so yeah, this is as far as I've gotten on the body. This is probably going to be the part that is the easiest because everything else will be making these small things like his ears and his like the pattern on his stomach which wish bear is like some stars and a rainbow um i'll put a picture of him here i'm not sure how i feel about the eyes and the eyebrows that that the pattern gives so i'm not super creative but i might have to try to figure something else out with that but this is where i'm at so far i got to the point where i'm supposed to start stuffing him and then uh, closing them up and then making all his limbs so that is all I have so far I'm hoping like I said to finish Nelfs today um, and then I want to finish some and then maybe read some smaller ones before I start like another big one and I have Dead 11 Dead 11 and Mina so I think I will start Mina next as my like bigger uh, book but like in between goosebumps or whatever like that. So that's what I've been up to. I'm going to go out and get some drugs for all of this congestion. I just feel like my eyes still feel like they're underwater and my ears and um, yeah. <clears throat> so it's not, sorry in advance for any sniffs that I did not edit out because it's hard to keep up. <laughs> I will check in probably tomorrow and let you know how the musical went. Hopefully, hopefully I make it there. I was feeling really sick and tired last night. I'm like, I don't know if I could do this. I don't know if I could go out. Um, but it's still early right now and I'm feeling like hopeful. I really don't want to miss this. All right, I'm done babbling. I'll check back with you tomorrow. <laughs> This is not a great angle, is it? But um, I just wanted to quickly check in, so I just have you sitting on my bookshelf right here. But I did finish the creep over Truth or Dare, which is the first one in this series. This is like a middle grade book. And um, on the back, it'll give you like how scary each one is. So I kind of get the feeling that this is sort of Goosebumps-ish. Uh, type stories but kind of geared towards uh, girls because it's like a group of girlfriends that are doing sleepovers. So this was a fun book. This is about this group of friends that are having a sleepover and one of them like kind of lets people know that she has a crush on this boy and soon after her phone starts getting messages like hey you better leave him alone um, but all the friends are there and it was like in the middle of the night that this happened so 
Um, she knows it wasn't any of her friends and kind of goes from there. Um, I thought this was a really cute read and I do have a few more in this series so I might try to get a few more of those done during this month. Right now I just painted my nails while I was watching The Last Unicorn. I'll probably watch that in a couple different parts just because sitting through a cartoon like that, um, I, I don't know that I could sit through for one from start to finish, um, just my attention span, but I will be watching that. And oh, I haven't talked much about it, but I have been listening to, sorry, I still have like this brain fog from having COVID uh, where I just can't think of words, either that or I'm just getting old. But um, <clears throat> I've been listening to The Exorcist and things are starting to finally happen. So that to me is the part that's a little bit more interesting than like the whole backstory of the family, like the mom and her career I don't really care about. So things are starting to happen with Reagan. So that's interesting. And then I have been reading Head Like a Hole and I'm a little bit over 50%. I haven't gotten a, um, a lot of reading done on that recently, but that one is also starting to pick up. That has started with this guy who um like sets these crab nets or crab cages where he goes out and checks for crabs on a boat I, I feel like I'm explaining this very poorly already and uh one day he opens up his crab trap and there is a human head in there and it is telling him to do stuff and he has been doing it and there is um from another point of view or it sounds like there was this group of kids that went to a boarding school and something happened during that time and we are about to kind of get into it because some of those friends have gotten back together to hang out and talk about things that they haven't talked about in a few years so um that one is very interesting has a lot of body horror and just kind of weird creepy stuff which I'm into so I'm really enjoying that book and it has tons of 90s references from like Cheryl Crow being on the cover of Rolling Stone to songs that are mentioned and I it is very much in the time period that I remember most which was my high school years so I'm really enjoying that so I have decided instead of doing like a weekly vlog and doing four vlogs, I think what I'm going to do is every 10 days I will end a vlog and start a new one. So there'll be three total for this old school April. That way I can keep them a little shorter than having like an hour long vlog or something because um, that is a long thing to sit through. So tomorrow is the 10th and I will check in one more time and then we'll start a new one. All right, I will talk to you guys later. All right, so I never did check in that last day. That was yesterday, but I did finish Head Like a Hole and I really loved that book. Um, every section was named after a different song from the 90s, so I thought that was really fun. Um, it inspired me to put on a flannel today, which my husband made fun of me for because I had to go out and pick up my car and he was like, where's your Nirvana t-shirt flannel? whatever it is just as comfy as it was back then and i don't care if i look like a lumberjack so head like a hole was so much fun it was weird it was had a lot of body horror which i do i i like the body horror and it was just different from anything that i've read so i really had a good time with that one i think i will give it it's probably going to be either a four or a four and a half star for me I can't believe that Old School April is already a third of the way done. I felt like I spent most of it being sick, which kind of stinks, but I did get a lot of fun activities and reading going on. Um, so I will start a new vlog today and I will be back in another 10 days with Old School April Part 2 Electric Boogaloo. Thank you guys so much for watching and participating in Old School April, even if you're just kind of watching and following along at home, even if you're not like submitting points or anything. It's still, it's such a fun community and I've had a fun time watching music videos and cartoons and movies with everyone. It's just been a good way to get to know everybody. So thank you guys for watching and as always, stay spooky.